Perfect. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, many of you have been part of one of our concern collecting circles before, um, and we have gently reframed our topic a little bit. So this is sort of the kickoff to um, this, um, this project where we now have a timeline um, from now until the finish already advertised. So we're very committed to just moving through this process at this point, and we're glad that you are here with us to get it started on our reframing. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Lissa Staley, and I'm a librarian at the Public Library. And I'll let Debbie and Marie introduce themselves. I'm Marie Pico. I'm the Public Services Director um, involved with um, everything from birth to older adults and partnership at the library. I'm Debbie Stanton. I'm Public Services Supervisor over the Information and Learning Team. So that includes civic engagement work, also the gallery, um, Topeka Room, local history, reference, all the non-fiction-y areas of the library for adults. And um, so what we're doing today is a concern collecting circle around this idea of what concerns you about how we are improving Topeka. But before we get to that, I'm gonna have um, Marie and then Debbie kind of walk us through a little bit about how we got here and what we're doing with this stuff. So um, several years ago, the, the library was invited to join several other um, community organizations nationally with the Kettering Foundation. And uh, the way I've been explaining the Kettering Foundation is it's like a democracy think tank. Everything they do, all the research they do is about putting um, real life people at the center of decision making. Um, and so uh, we've been doing this for a little while and we've done, we've done some different particular projects, but the, what we're focusing on now is how do we help the community um, kind of really tackle what they like to call those wicked problems um, those, those community issues, those community um, concerns that we have um, in order to have community people, so all of us, kind of talk through different processes. So we've been working with um, looking at different approaches, um, talking about the challenges and the opportunities, and really focusing in on if we make this decision and we as a community go this way, what are the trade-offs? Because with every single decision anywhere, there are trade-offs that happen. Um, and so um, it's just been, it's been a great process. And in the, in the process, we've also been inviting community people in to uh, go through a process of learning how to have those conversations. Um, so we started, you know, we started small and we looked at particular projects um, that were of interest to the library. And now we're really looking at um, how do we take this and involve the community in helping us decide um, not taking somebody else's uh, project and, and working with people, but at, how do we create one as a community? How do we create an issue guide? How do we make it very hyper-local to Topeka? So um, it's not uh, what uh, Dayton... Ohio thinks is important. It's not what Detroit, Michigan thinks it's important. It's what Topeka thinks is important and Topekans. Um, so uh, we're all excited to, um, to be able to make this hyper-local. We've been working on this for a while. Um, we started this in what, what at the library we like to call the before times. So it was before um, the pandemic and our whole life got turned upside down. And, um, and so now we're moving into really kind of putting um, the project together. So what we're asking is um, not only for you to work with us on having a concern gathering today, and some of that will have great information that we'll take forward, but some of it's just practice for you guys, because we also are going to um, be asking you to help be um, part of an advisory team so we can move through um, this work. Um, but we're really excited you said yes. And we're really excited to um, be able to move this forward. And it's going to help us as a community work through things more effectively and not do it the library way or Kettering way, but to do it Topeka's way. So you are all here because as Marie said, we've asked you to be advisors to this work. And sorry, I have a script and now I can't get to it, darn it. 
Um, basically, you know yourselves, <laughs> you, know, you know the community, you know our community. Um, so we knew that you would be the best people to come together and help us with this work. Um, the important thing is we want as many voices at the table as possible so that we can have an authentic issue guide that uses the language of Topeka, that uses um, the actions that Topekans will care about um, when we look at moving forward on this. So we've invited a lot of uh, different types of groups together. You might recognize some of each other, um, some of you you might not know, um, but we've invited quite a few people to the table from a lot of different sectors. So, um, you know, nonprofit, uh, for-profit business, uh, local government, state government, media, um, politics, education, social services, I've got a long list. Again, I can't get to my script, but that's okay. I, you don't need me to mark them all out there, but um, the important thing is that you bring you bring your knowledge, you bring yourself, um, you bring your knowledge of the community to the table for this work, and we really appreciate it. So um, earlier, somebody wrote me and said, I can't come today, but I want to keep receiving the updates. What do I need to do to make sure I stay on the list? And I said, well, if you don't tell me explicitly to stop emailing you about this, then I will keep sending you occasional updates. So you're opted in right now. And if you tell me, please stop sending me updates about this, I of course would. Um, and you can invite other people in. All of this is posted um, transparently on the library's website at tscpl.org slash conversations. Um, so we hope that you will participate as you're able. We understand that you will have other meetings scheduled at the same time as this sometimes, and that is okay. Um, it means that we all like work for our community. We work for our jobs. We work in various ways and we can't always do all the things. Um, so we'll always build in a way to give feedback if you can't come to the meeting and build out a report out so you know what we're working on so far in case you have concerns about it or more ideas. Um, we hope that you embrace deliberating approaches to the challenges we face in Topeka. We hope that you help us explore possible unintended consequences and that we all consider trade-offs and that you raise those trade-offs um, as we work through these things. Um, it's really hard when you see a great idea or have a great idea to consider the trade-offs and the unintended consequences and who might not like your idea. When we all work together, we can do that deeper thinking um, is the hope. Um, we hope that you find value in this work, that you find applications to your own community involvement uh, we don't often intentionally explore the underlying tensions between possible approaches. We're going to dig into the underlying values, the things that are rooted in options that value safety and fairness and freedom. When we address these challenges, when we try to improve our community, we have to make choices. And we're going to talk about why we make those choices and what we give up when we go certain directions. It's a different way of framing the challenges. And we believe that the benefit in deliberating together is worth the discomfort in talking about these tensions. Um, and we hope that you believe that too. Uh, we've shared our timeline and all of the um, process, and we hope that that helps you see that this is not a forever commitment, that this project has a start time right now and an end time this fall, um, and that our product is to have a deliberative issue guide based in Topeka so that we can continue talking about Topeka issues um, and continue to add to it. When I say like it'll have an end, it will actually never be done. So, I mean, that was a lie, but we will continue to be able to talk about Topeka's issues as they come up using this framework, especially if we can build a great framework together from the start that truly represents a lot of perspectives. Um, so the next meeting is April 15th, where we're gonna look at the concerns that are gathered and try to sort them based on their underlying values. Um, so if that sounds fun, try to get that on your calendar, 9 to 11 a.m., or follow along with the updates and send in your feedback and thoughts is also an option. But for now, we're gonna stop recording and switch to our concern gathering.